too big for you to understand, so I'm going to describe it as something you can't understand. But it's just in writing that would make sense with primitive man. But that's just adding to what you're saying. But my question actually is, other than dragons being real, um, what is the most absurd theory you've been told? About <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. Um, well, one one is that you know that Jesus was an alien, so which I think is total nonsense. <laughs> Um, but also that uh, reptilians, you know, whole David, the, the whole David Icke thing that, uh, you know, President Bush is a snake uh, and, and he shapeshifts and, and things like that. Uh, well, you know, I mean, yeah, maybe I should have not said Bush uh, or, yeah, that, that's true, but um, no, it's, it's uh, I don't know, you know, because there are things that are too far out there, even for me. And, and because, you know, by and large, I have to tell you that I am a skeptic. Because if something, you know, doesn't uh, ring feasible to me, I have no problem in saying, you know, you're insane. Right. <laughs> because I am, I'm the first one to admit that what I talk about sounds 100% crazy. I'm the first one to admit that. I know it. Um, but at the same time, so for me to, you know, go on you know, national television and talk about this and be of the conviction that what I talk about, you know, I mean it, that means that, you know, I can back up every single thing that I bring to the table. So, you know, I, I, you know it's, it's because there are things you know, even unfortunately, some of my colleagues, whom I I know that you know they've they've just made stuff up, and and that you know to me is is you know unfortunate. But you know, so yeah, the, the, definitely the, the Jesus thing, and uh, you know the, the reptilian thing, or, or that we're all a slave species, and that we're, and that we're all being ruled by extraterrestrials. I mean, it's all it's all conspiracy nonsense, you know. Even though, I mean, you know, there's something to be said about everything, but I, I, you know, I urge everyone to do your own research always. You know, just because, you, again, just because you see someone in TV, including myself, say something, you know, go to the library, go to the books and, and read them. And, and I deliberately did not say go to the internet. Yeah. Because uh, understand that Wikipedia is the thought police of the 21st century. <laughs> Wikipedia is not your friend. Uh, you know, so. Yeah. Thank good? You. Thank you very Excellent. Much. And then I think we, we're done. And then I'm going to be over at that. Uh, oh, yeah. We've got one question. It's 12 yeah. Is it true that there's been DNA testing done on the Peruvian elongated skulls? And if so, what are the results of those tests? Not yet. Not yet. They are in the process of doing that, and we'll see. We'll see what the results are. I mean, uh, Lloyd Pye is working on that with this, uh, the, the guy from the Star Child Skull, together with uh, Brian Forrester, and um, you know, just join uh, Brian Forrester's Facebook page, and I'm sure he'll he'll report. Is this tied into the uh, Sitchkin proponent of uh, he wanted to have the DNA testing done on the goddess of Ewer? It isn't. But unfortunately, you know, Sitchin passed away, excuse me, before he was able to, or before any, any of that could be done. And um, Sitchin's publisher, Inner, um, yeah, Inner Traditions, uh, they have sort of uh, picked up the baton and they're trying to get this stuff done. but. The, the big problem is that, uh, you know, you're dealing with a museum and, uh, you know, museums are a very funny place. They're doing an incredible job at, at preserving things, but at the same time they're also exercising censorship. Because for 25 years, uh, a, an artifact was displayed at the uh, Smithsonian, the Aeronautics Smithsonian in Washington, D.C that is similar to one of those gold flyers that I always wear on the show on my lapel pin. And um, like I said, that thing was on display for 25 years. And uh, for the past three years, or actually for the past two years, that thing has disappeared. Now that's censorship. 
I don't care what anybody says. And, uh, you know, and that is not what science is all about, because science is all about asking questions. And, um, you know, and, and that is what, what, what I do. I, I ask questions, and if those questions are uncomfortable, and if it freaks some people out, good. <laughs> so thank you very much for an amazing crowd. Thank you so much. But we're going to go down to, uh, to, the, to room B right now, and uh, the next, uh, do you want to make an announcement who's next? Here, go ahead. Uh, from 1.30 to 2.30, we have the Witch's Dungeon with...